Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the um, the free bonus templates that come with Photoshop Action Scripts from PhotoshopActionScripts.com. As you can see on the site, they list some bonuses here. Uh, so these right here it says exclusive bonus two 40 pre-made PSD e-cover templates. Then you, you can see I've made all kinds of different ones here. Um, so I'm going to go into Photoshop and show you what that looks like. Okay, I've just opened two of them. As you can see, all of the templates, they are made to fit a large software box, which fits exactly with the action scripts that we have. But say, for instance, you want to use these for, say, a gift bag or something similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of the actions. In this one, I'm going to use the gift bag. And I'm just going to simply hit step one and press play. Okay, now here's our uh, gift bag template. And all you gotta do is paste your images over top of this. And as you can see, there's a front and there's also a side. So um, all you have to do is in Photoshop, you just find the um, image you want to start with. With this PSD, let me close. The, uh, let me just move this over here for a second. What you do is you use your layers palette over here. You can go to Window and uh, Layers which it'll pop it up depending on what version of Photoshop you're using so I'll pull it over here and you can click on any layer you want um, I always make sure that this checkbox up here auto select is checked that way you can just click on a layer and it automatically goes to it so I'm gonna grab this back and just pull it over here and just like the other ones you would just hit control T and then you would just bring these up to the edges and I'm assuming this one's not going to be too distorted but we'll, f we'll see what it looks like and then uh, apply the transformation. Let's just take a second. Okay. That one looks like it's. Oh, I see what I did. Control T again. Let me pull this over here. I didn't realize it was like that. Okay. So about right there. And you're going to apply it. So then there's the front of it. And then save for the side of the bag. So you just want this gradient. You don't ha you don't have to have all that other stuff if you don't want. Control T, match it up. Looks like I might have to pull this one over here and press play. And all you're doing, oops, I missed a spot up here. All you're doing is just covering up the spots that you don't want. And if uh, since all of the 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 free bonus templates, they're all. Um, editable layers so as you can see um, saying with this bestseller thing I could even just take this off and put it here so we'll put that on the front page just hold down uh, if you're gonna do control and you want to keep if you're gonna do the uh, what's it called uh, free transform tool control plus T if you want to keep the same dimensions of width and height just hold down the shift key while you're uh, changing it and it'll it'll do it automatically so I'm going to apply that one, and let me, uh, let me grab this over here. And as you can see, the, um, the action scripts are 300 DPI, so they're just really massive. So whenever you're working with another image, you will have to stretch them up to fit, but it'll all go back down when you're finished. Um, so right now I've just got the side of the bag is just the gradient, because I think that's going to look good, better on a gift bag than having a bunch of writing on there. So this is just an example anyway. So let me pull my actions uh, thing back up. Go to step two and press play, and then hit continue. Okay, and there we have it. It is now finished, and as you can see, the gift bag is completely done. And all we did was just grab the layers that we wanted to put on there. Um, if you're not real familiar with how layers work, let me show you real fast because um, this, this is important. Okay, I'm gonna. If you don't have your window, your layers palette open, depending on what version of Photoshop you're using, just go to Window, Layers, and then, um, remember I told you the uh, auto-select is always important. So say, um, see how this um, this text is sitting on top of this image? This, this, this layer is at the very bottom, as you can see. If I were to move this layer to the top of the Layers palette, oops, I just messed up. Let me just move it up a few. As you can see, it's covering up stuff that's behind it. If I uh, 
click the little eyeball right here it'll make it disappear show you everything that it's covering up so pretty much everything on the top in the layers palette stays on top of the other image and if it's below it's in the back so let me just go ahead and close that one out so as you can see this one's sliding up underneath of this one but if I were to click on the red one and move it from being on top move it down here it's behind it so pretty much that's all you have to do with layers um, usually when you're using Photoshop you don't have this many layers but these uh, these free bonus templates that come with the Photoshop action scripts um, have a lot of them so you can play around and that's all there is to it um, you can do that with just about all of the uh, all of the different designs and all of the different actions um, each each template easily shows you where you can paste over top and all you gotta do is just grab the layers you want and fit them by using the control plus T and just uh, transforming it over it to where it fits but like I said the large software box should be automatic if you just want to change the the text or whatever if you like the the e cover already then you can do that so if you don't have the Photoshop action scripts yet you can get those at Photoshop action scripts dot com that scripts with an S and I will leave a uh, excuse me I will leave a link in the description of this video so you can go check them out thanks